Even before the county health rankings report came out in 2010, we knew that housing costs in Ingham County, particularly renting housing costs, had been skyrocketing, and that housing quality had been somehow simultaneously plummeting. The Ingham County Health Department provides Medicaid outreach, in-home nursing, health education, and other services to expectant mothers and parents with young children. So we work with people in their homes and we see their housing conditions. Over the past few years, the portion of families we serve facing any number of housing issues has grown up. Whether it's inability to afford the rent, cost of utilities, incomplete or unusable kitchens or plumbing, fire hazards, mold, bed bugs, or unexplained fees added to the rent by the landlord, housing concerns are among the top stressors that our families face on a day-to-day -day basis. Based on nationwide trends, Ingham County should have seen 10,000 more units of housing with rent in the $500 to $750 range. Instead, Ingham County only saw an increase of 1,000 units in this price range. The majority of the growth was in housing with rent between $750 to $1,499. According to National Household Budgeting Guidelines used by mortgage lenders and financial empowerment centers, families who spend more than 30% of their income on housing are unable to sufficiently budget for the combined costs of food, transportation, medical care, clothing, and or child care. As a public health advocate, when I think about affordable rent and working with my families, searching for homes for the families for rent that's going to be 30% or less of their income is really difficult. And a lot of times, the houses we do end up finding for the families ends up being 50% of their income or something that could possibly put them in a bad situation. In my experience as a public health advocate, home visiting, the major issues that I run into are usually related to costs of housing and substandard housing. I've seen families in the winter with no heat except for a space heater, families with serious mold issues in their homes, appliances not getting repaired, major appliances like refrigerators not having one for their food that works. People of color do not have the same kind of access to home loans, and so they continue to be disproportionately the people who are living in rental housing and who these days are paying upwards of 50% of their income on that rental housing. If you would like to know more about affordable housing or to join us to help enact change in affordable housing, please contact the Ingham County Health Department.